ready? I'm ready. Am I right? Yeah. You're on it. Well, welcome to our channel, Posh Cats Camping. And we'd like to thank everybody for watching our videos. We do really appreciate it. Since the launch of our video, A Closer Look of Smurf, we've had a lot of people ask us uh, if we could show them the different layouts within Smurf and the versatility of the living areas. So we also have been requested to show Trev getting the bed linen in a little cupboard. So we will, <laughs> we will be demonstrating end. that at the end. We will show you what Smurf is like at day, at, during the day and put the table out. Um, dining area, living area, and we'll also show you the nighttime mode that made up ready for the nighttime. Um, we've we've actually got an addition to our tables. We've got this lovely little round one, which also fits in the wardrobe with the bigger tabletop. Um, and this is our conf configuration for when we like to sit at the cab end. So if one of you wants to go to bed and one of you wants to stay up or get up early in the morning, you've got the versatility of coming to sit up this area. If Trev wants to make his videos when I'm in bed, this is a perfect area to do that. Mm -hmm. um, it feels like part, it doesn't feel like a separate cab area. It feels like part of Smurf. Um, even if you've got people down the other end, it's still quite comfortable sitting here. And if you want to look outside, like I did when we were in the um, east of Scotland, a lovely view out of the door, you can also do that. I call it the front lounge. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite nice. And uh, particularly having width, lunch. I really it? enjoyed having lunch here when we sat with the sun was shining. It was yeah. quite warm, but we had the door open and uh, fly screen shut, didn't we? And uh, uh, people were saying hello to us through the door, weren't yeah. they? <laughs> <laughs> we, we will show you um, the base of the table mm -hmm. uh, and the little and carpet over the top. We yeah. decided we didn't want a whole cut round it. We're quite happy just to have, have it covered with a little bit of carpet, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we will show you that. And at okay. night time, we put the, the edge cushions on this chair um, and then we just pull this curtain across. We don't always have to put the blinds up on the windows, do we? We, no. use, we use a curtain, don't we? We do, yeah. Yeah, Which um, keeps sometimes we use that in addition to the uh, silver screens because we've got yeah. internal and external silver screens. So in all weathers we can yeah. uh, keep warm as well. So shall we move to the back? Yes. Go yep. to the back lounge. So this is the setup of the little table, which I have to be honest, we use a lot more because it's much there's more space to get round it because it's, it's bit tight between the seats and it with the big one out which is perfect for having a meal but it's so easy all you've got to do is lift the tabletop up and replace it with another one so this is that adequate for you to have your laptop on and if you yep. want to sit here with your laptop um, or having drinks or just nibbles or yep. um, it's quite a versatile table or sometimes I'll just sit up the end here and uh, kick my shoes off and uh, put the telly on <laughs> and I've still got room to have my glass of wine <laughs> it's all very nice you know <laughs> yeah there's space to get round this isn't there it does provide you more room yeah it's I think easier. when you're not dining the little table is really nice for what well, they call an occasional table yeah. but um, it's really nice for uh, just putting your coffee on or you know, your nibbles so this is our layout for when we're having dinner with the big table. We have had four plate plates on here, haven't we? Someone sitting there, mm -hmm. and then t and one sort of sitting here, and that was just about that was just about enough space. Weren't you that? can just about do it for four, yeah. Although it's uh, lovely for two, but because it's so easy, just to take this um lift it off and put the little table on it's it's okay just to put this down to have a meal and yeah we can leave it out if you want to it's just and we have to swivel it a little bit like so if you want to get out because I've got, I've got quite long legs and they sort of get in the way <laughs> yeah so do mine <laughs> so then Trev, Trev wants to get out he has to swivel it as well yeah just so turn the table a little bit you can do that just makes it, it a bit can. easier because it is a little bit narrow in between the um, seats and that, but I mean that's perfect. Yeah, cosy. Yeah. So when we were in Scotland, we didn't get our chairs out at all, did we? 
Well, the outside chairs. Yeah, the outside chairs. I don't think we did, did we? Because most of the time I'd sit here and look out yeah. the back window. You'd sit there looking out the windows. Yeah, got my window. Because we've got such a good panoramic view around the back of Smurf. Mm. Or if if I needed to, we could sit in the cab and look for the front cab, yeah. didn't we, when, when we've got views front and back. So this sort of demonstrates really no table. Um, and we've got a little shelf here and, Which is and really nice. your end to put your coffee in and your knickknacks yeah. and stuff when you're in bed as well That's and right. this ledge yeah um and the space for the dogs <laughs> yeah i haven't mentioned the dogs yeah <laughs> yeah very often they're down here by my feet yeah. aren't they or here and we've got throws because it's more practical because you can wash them mm. with, with the dogs so yeah. so this is the lounge area which is the reason why we chose this layout isn't it really yeah. okay so um what we'll do now we'll uh remove some of the cushions Show you how we take the cushions off the edge and then the we'll set up the bedroom yeah okay right. mm -hmm. This is what it looks like when we've got the cushions from the rear lounge in, on my seat. So I've turned my seat round so that they don't fall off. And there's still space for Trev to sit at a little table doing his videos. For a little table from the, And he's got another little table that side to put his coffee cup coffee. on. Yep. So it still works, still works well. And all the cushions are stored here, aren't they? Yeah. We've got a set way that we store them, so they're not in the way. So this is the place where the tables are stored. This is our wardrobe. There's nothing in the wardrobe at the moment, no hanging clothes or anything, but this is where we keep the large table on the left, and that's clipped in there, and the small table on the right, also clipped into place. And this is the pole. Now there is a possibility that we might buy another pole so that we can have both tables up at the same time. But for the moment, we're trying it with one pole. This is the front mounting position for the table, and Sue's just going to put the carpet back. We, we just like to have the carpet. We decided we didn't want the hole cut in it, didn't we? We wanted to keep it so it covers up the area up. When we're not using the table. We're not using it. Because oh, you only need a slight bump, so we thought that looked nice and like that, rather than having the silver rings showing, didn't we? And this is the floor mount in the front lounge. And you just lift this out and put the pole in there. So now we're in bedtime mode. <laughs> and the two beds are made up of singles. We can make this up as a double, can't we, Sue? Yeah, we just have to pull these. There's two, well, they've got like, um, what do you call it, slats underneath, haven't yeah. they? You yeah, you pull, pull them out, out to the middle. The middle and then uh, rearrange the cushions. We've got we've got the two and a half centimetre duvalet mattress topper there with a zip up sheet on it, so it's nice and easy to roll up, which we yep. will demonstrate. Um, and you can just pull that out just a little bit if we want to, just to make make the bed a little bit wider. If you want it a bit wider as a single bed, bigger bed for the boys. Th this yep. is lovely and comfortable to sit up against in the, when you're having a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. well, obviously, got the little handy things there. Um, and obviously when you want to snuggle down, you just put your pillar down and these don't get in the way. And just nice and comfy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'll yeah. stay like this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, I'll demonstrate now how we get all this bed linen into the locker up here between the loudspeakers. Everything goes into that one locker and I'll put it on a time lapse. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put the uh, bed linen, the pillows, and the toppers all into this space here. Okay, and if, uh, at night time we have uh, some pillows in here, or the cushions from the daytime lounge. So I'll take those out first. <laughs> The next job is to roll up the duvalet toppers.
that's the two toppers in the cupboard. Now for the two duvets. And now for the pillows. So how long do you reckon that take to put the bed together then? About 10 minutes? 10 minutes? Yeah. I, ten I, minutes. I will stress that we've got a four and a half tog summer quilt and in the winter time because the heating is so effective I don't, we don't have any thicker duvet than that. No. We keep the same duvet and then we just put a throw over the top if you want a bit of extra warmth. Yeah. Um, well, we have tried the bed as a double soft. bed, haven't we? Yeah. And uh, we just put the toppers together, uh, made it into a big double bed, put the toppers together, and then uh, the two duvets just laid on the top, fine. And they're two and a half centimetre thick duvet toppers, and yeah. we've got the zip up um, sheets that go on them. I think that's about it for this one. Um, mm. We are going to be doing more questions and answers over the winter period. So if you've got any questions or anything you'd like us to demonstrate with the van, do let us know and um, we'll make a little video, won't we? Yeah. Let us know what you'd like to see over the winter period when we're not out quite so often. Um, and we'll make a few videos answering your questions. Until then. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye.